Hi guys, Mr. Ruff Waffles here. This is your No Nonsense Guide to get a free wonder weapon on Liberty Falls. The weapon is the Jet Gun, which pack a punches into the Scram Jet, and it's pretty damn good. So let me just quickly show you how it works, and then we'll talk about how you get it. The Jet Gun can suck zombies on its primary fire, and it can do this indefinitely, which is amazing and makes this an extremely strong wonder weapon. Doing so will cause the zombies to basically get chewed up inside the turbine of the Jet Gun itself, and it will continue to do really good damage into the high rounds. Now, in the past, if you did this too much, the jet gun would explode, and that was actually part of the Easter egg on transit. But nowadays, the jet gun's been remodeled, apparently, and it no longer blows up. However, it does now have an alt fire, which has been added to make it even better than it was before. When you use the alt fire, it creates a big explosion. So this is amazing for wave clear in sketchy situations. And then you can focus on using the normal fire to just take out individual zombies as they come along. Overall, it's very powerful. It's definitely worth grabbing in your game. So let's talk about how you get it. When you spawn in, I recommend first just opening up all the way to the church because you're going to need to go all over the map for this Easter egg to work. Then make your way into what Washington Avenue and look for this. It's a little water valve that you can find outside the front of the flower store. Should be pretty easy for you to grab. Next, head to Liberty Lanes. That is the bowling alley. And in there, you're looking for this breaker. And with the breaker, you basically need to destroy it. So I think you can shoot it. You can melee it. You can do anything just to break it open, and then you can place the water valve inside. Then I'd recommend you get to the end of a round if you're playing solo, because this next step is going to take a little while to do. Kind of reminds me of that one step on Blood of the Dead solo. But basically get to the end of a round, so you've just got one or two zombies left, and you can have a teammate hoard them if you're in co-op, and that's going to make things super easy. And then hold square to increase the water pressure. And you need to keep on holding it down, and then once completed, a water pressure gauge will pop out. Pick that up. Next, we're going to need a Mangler Arm Cannon or a Mutant Injection. So if you've already got a Mutant Injection via one of the quests on the map, there's a variety of them, or you've got it from a special enemy, that's fine. You can use that here, but you can alternatively just go over to a crafting bench and spend salvage to craft yourself an armor cannon. Crafting benches can be found here and here, and once you've got yourself a mangler arm or a mutant injection, you need to shoot at this door to destroy the radio store on Riverside near the comic store. Inside there are piles of trash that you can hold square on to uncover salvage or even vermin as well, so be mindful not to get jump scared here. But as you root through the trash, you should eventually be able to find a trash pile containing electrical wires. Once you find them, pick them up. Then head to the cemetery area and you'll find a groundskeeper zombie roaming around there in a unique outfit. He should be wearing like a red shirt with dungarees and overalls. That's how you can distinguish him from the other zombies. Once you find him, kill him, and once he dies, he'll drop a key for a shed. So you just need to head over to the shed and follow where I'm going in the gameplay here in order to do that. And once you get there, you'll be able to find a handle break inside. Then head over to the second floor of the motel, and you can follow where I'm going in the gameplay here in order to get there. And once you arrive, a bunch of zombies will come crashing out of this motel room, and you just need to take them out and then walk into that room. Inside, you'll find a jet gun on a crafting table that's sort of mid-assembly, and this is your jet gun crafting bench. Now, before you build the jet gun, I want to give you a word of warning. This room is basically one way in, one way out. It's very narrow in there, and it's a bit of a death trap. So while you're doing this next bit, just be mindful that you're going to have your back to the zombies, and it's it's gonna get sketchy if you've got a big horde following you. So it's a good idea to have a teammate hold a zombie for you if you can. You're gonna run into the little room and hold square on the bench to craft the jet gun and boom, you've got it crafted. And now you're ready to do the Liberty Falls Easter egg, which I've linked on screen for you to click. Enjoy. 